I believe my next target will be France. Now the reason I want to attack France is it's got some of the richest land in the game, particularly Flanders, which the French have totally mistreated by the way, which is going to be my Casas Belli. So let's see what happens if I invade just now, and I can do this. The reason I can do this is right now Scania has a fort. Well, it's still in good public order. I think if we lower taxes, there should be more than enough to finish off the garrison. So I do have the option of taking Flanders right now. Fantastic. We took Flanders without a fight. I'm really sure this is worth my personal attention. Execute them. Hmm. Okay. And the, uh, everyone abandons the French. Oh. Okay, the Norwegians are no longer allied to me. That's not great. Nor Aragonese have remained on my side. So most people have sided with us, but... Okay, right. Hmm. So I'm not going to lie. The situation isn't great. There's a lot more French in the province than I expected. Uh, and we don't really have a large enough force to really defend ourselves. And on top of that, there's no port in Flanders, which means I don't have a way back out. Um, I'm going to train up some more fart and... Uh, oh, wait. We've got some cavalry. Okay, that's going to help. But holding the province until sufficient reinforcements can arrive... Well, that's going to be tricky. I'll get a lot of reinforcements next turn if we can survive long enough. So next turn. Okay, good. The French are focused on the Germans. Oh, that is not good timing. So the king is dead, and our army is now stranded in Flanders. Where's our new king? Okay, he's in Denmark. Not a bad king, but his acumen's low, so our income is going to suffer. Right. That was a very small counterattack. That was worth a try, we have the same enemy. So I have a stronger and pretty well balanced army now. Uh, so I think I have sufficient strength. I now feel bold enough to launch an attack into Ile de France. Okay, the Germans have taken Champagne and they... With, okay, the Germans have withdrawn from Ile de France. I was hoping to have their support in the battle. If we can defeat this force in the Ile de France... Oh, but it's a bridge. But there are two bridges, though. Right. Let's look at the balance of power closely here. They've got a four-star general, unfortunately. Um, most of their force is cavalry. Not great for defending bridges. But they've got a lot of archers as well, and they've got enough spearmen. Now, I do have longbowmen and a good supply of archers of my own. Hmm. Once we're across the river, I've got two units of spearmen and enough cavalry to counter their cavalry. I think we can do it. Okay, fine throughout the day. Rain really doesn't work for us. Let's see what we're dealing with. 
the majority. That army will descend on us the moment we cross the bridge. Um, I'm going to send a longbowman and see how they react to that threat. Right, if we can kill off those men at arms early, that'll be a huge bonus. Okay, it cost us most of our longbow shots, but that's basically removed one of the enemy's most dangerous units. Because we outranged them, we managed to weaken their archers as well. While the French are distracted with whatever's going on with this bridge battle, I'm going to send most of my troops across this bridge here. Of course, the Highlanders don't quite seem to have got the memo. They were about to cross the bridge directly into the maw of enemy fire. Very glad I caught that in time. Ah, great, but the French are responding to it. Um... Hmm. Okay, we're not going to get across in time. Let's see where this goes. Right. Good, they're firing on their own now. And those feudal sergeants have large shields, but they should be setting ducks like this. Oh, they're pulling them back. They're bringing anyone in to replace. Okay, right. What are my options here? I don't want to cross into the arrow fire. So, right. Let's see if we can very quickly make for the other bridge. Right, go, go, go. Get across that bridge at all costs. Here we go, the archers are going to try and hold us up actually. They might succeed. I'm a little... Okay. Now this, I didn't expect this. I thought the archers would just break off. We need to try and break out of this. Okay, they're going after my general's bodyguard. My general's bodyguard can lead them off. Ah, but now they're going after the Scottish cavalry. Okay. And we've got an anarchy charge there. I didn't order that. Okay. Okay. Force them into the river. Come on, go! Where did this cavalry come from? Oh, goodness. Okay, get the amber. Get this force across. Break them here at the crossing. Oh. Badly. They've overtaken us at the river. Now they're trying to reorganize. Come on.
And those are hobblers, which means they're fast. Goodness. Oh, the third have broken. <sighs> Get off of the bridge. God, I hate medieval one when it comes to reorganizing troops. They take forever. Which is more realistic, I know. Okay, the attack hasn't gone well, but as they come across the bridge, they might... Oh, they're not going to come across the bridge. Okay, we managed to break them here. Um... Oh, come on, come on, come on! Trying to find things in the interface while all of this is going on. Run back across the bridge. God, how are those hobblers? Well, of course they're fast, the hobblers. And they had to be disciplined as well. They haven't chased us across the bridge. To... Oh wait, no, here they come. Organize if they attack us here. I think they're actually going to try and attack us across the bridge. Right, bring everything we have on this flank. So these hobblers are normally be extremely dangerous to Highland clansmen, but we've caught them um, on the march. So we will lose these Highland clansmen. They killed the enemy general. Excellent. Turns out stupidity is contagious. Once those landsmen arrive, it's all over. And I'm confident my fardman can uh, hold off whatever's going on here.
they actually managed to get troops across. What's going on over there? Hmm. I mean, it's still going our way. I'll send the Scottish cavalry to deal with it. They're starting to break here. I think they're soft enough to crack here now. Send the remaining troops across. All of them. So they've only got urban militia and archers here. Royal Knights. I shouldn't have sent my Scottish cavalry this way. I've got this perfectly in hand. Let's see if they can get over here and help us deal with the Royal Knights. Landsman as expected have taken some pretty heavy casualties. Uh, they're dealing with the remainder of those feudal men at arms. We didn't quite get all of them. Those enemy spearmen are coming to help, but they're going to be too late. This battle will be done. And there they go, they're peeling off. Well, that was a suitably tough battle for the French capital. We still have to drive them off for the time. Look at how much time is left. We're going to get them. There we go. They broke on impact. Il de France is ours. That was a ride and a half. No, they're not getting those soldiers back. Of course. Okay. Right. We'll siege out the castle. There's no way we're taking that by storm. Uh, what's my public order like? Not, not ideal. Probably because I'm, I'm actually not sure why my public order has died quite so hard. Um, what does this rebellion look like? Okay, arches and arches and um, urban militia. That wouldn't be a problem. Okay, that rebellion should be no problem. Oh, the English have got involved as well. Let's deal with this revolt. Right, I think that's going to make a fairly easy first target. Makes the lunch to get off a volley. Where's the rest of their army going? Okay, okay, I think they're trying to pull us up formation. It's not going to work, all they did is separate their archers from their uh, infantry. We'll let our cavalry do what they do best. I 
Ah, uh, wait, I see the plan. Clever devils. Right, fall back. So the plan was to wait for us to get caught in the arches and hit us. Right, in that case, uh, attack the urban militia. We'll clear this problem away. And then get the cavalry in to hit them from the side. Still blocking our cavalry. Okay, now we can go for them. So that was very clever of the enemy general trying to use the arch as a distraction so he could get in amongst our cavalry. Right, go after the enemy archers now. Your soldiers now hold prisoner the wretched enemy general. Oddly enough, if the archers turn and fight, they might actually cause some problems here. Because it's still cavalry fighting in forest. But they broke first. And there we go. Okay, the Germans are taking to lose. Oh, from the no, the English are taking to lose. They're telling us to withdraw within two years. Well, we should still be able to take the Yield of France. Um, what I might do is turn on the Germans. We're not going to go for a peace deal until we've taken the Yield of France. And then I'll try and patch things up with the French. Good. Excellent. That's three European capitals in my hand. Right, we'll patch things up with the French, if they allow it, and then if we can do that, we'll prepare for war with the Germans. And their fleet just moved into the channel, didn't it? Okay, um, well there's no point in chasing them around, I need three ships here anyway. Um, we'll move back into the channel though, and once my navy is strong enough to supply three ships to both of these seas, we can safely go to war. Fantastic. That cuts me off from Denmark again. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yes, I do probably want to remain allied with the Spanish over the, uh, anything else. So we've got our ceasefire with the, Fran with the French. And uh, my problem is we've just lost our naval presence in the Skagerrak. And the German Navy has just evaded, which means we can't actually... Oh wait, no, it wasn't our bark that was sunk. Okay, um... Do, am I ready to attack Germany yet? We'll have three ships next turn, which means if the Germans do suddenly arrive in the North Sea, uh, we should be able to crush them. Let's see, I probably don't want to attack Champagne directly. What I want to do is attack Lorraine and cut the enemy army off in Champagne. That way they won't be able to escape. Now they can take Burgundy on the same turn. That will be a huge help as well. So let's see what we've got here. 
Moraine isn't that heavily defended, so even a cursory strike on it should be successful. And the idea is the best part of our army will go into Burgundy. And we'll push them out of that, that province as well. Okay, we're at war. We're at war with the most powerful empire on the European subcontinent. Well, that probably helps us out, to be honest. They've accepted our offer of an alliance. Excellent, so we've got the French to our back. Um, do we want to remain allied with the French or the English? Uh, hmm. Yep. Unfortunately, we've lost our alliance with Lithuania from that, but I don't really care about that. <laughs> yes! And with that, Champagne's gone rogue. And oh, it looks like the Germans were doing quite badly before this. Um, oh, Franconia's Polish for some reason. And uh, what's this emperor? What is the German emperor's position? Because it turns out that other nations have the same idea I had, and Germany is being slowly partitioned. Now, the German navy seems to have wandered off somewhere, so I'm not too worried about it just now. So the point of the siege force in Lorraine. Um, let's see what they've got. What have they got around us? Hmm. Only enough to really cause mischief. They might take back Lorraine. I want to go after Champagne because the army here is actually quite dangerous. They could attack into any of these provinces and cause us problems. So now that they've revolted, I want to actually do something with this. Now this will be a big fight. They have 8, 11 units of infantry here. So that's 4 good units of infantry from Lorraine. Another 2 from Flanders. Okay, so that's only eight, and that's with mustering everything I've got. I'll actually need to send forces back from um, Burgundy to reinforce the position. But that's more than enough to match their professional forces. You know what? The militia can be the holding force. I'll bring more. So that's nine. I'm sure the cavalry will be able to help. Bring in some archers here. Naturally, instead of the king, I will bring my prince to this battle. Let's consolidate our position. Okay, big battle here. So my plan going into this battle is to try and match my landsmen against the enemy spears as uh, my cavalry won't do well against those. Uh, what the? Okay. I guess we're going to find out if the landsmen are as good as I thought. Uh oh. Okay, they've actually done pretty well against my landsmen on this flank, but thankfully they've also exposed the rear to the enemy, to my cavalry. So they attack across their lines like this. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. The enemy spearmen went straight for my cavalry.
Walker on the flank. Two units not contributing to the battle. Good, now into their backs. So we've broken the We've broken the feudal sergeant, so that should be the best of their infantry uh, whittled down. Now that their spearmen are distracted, I can use this Scottish cavalry force to get around the back of this mass of troops. And we've managed to ride around as well. So we now come back towards the battlefield. Form up for a proper charge. I want the cavalry to hit around here. Because we're going to hit them here. I'll send these fardmen uh, after the spearmen. And the royal knights can then hit the last spearman unit in the back. I can see their general in the woods here. We should be able to smoke him out. I'm generally not sure. I think they ran all the way from here around to here. We've got them, and they've got no. I don't think they've even got a castle to withdraw to. So I expect the only thing keeping the enemy army on the field now is their archers. Champagne is ours. Well, most of it. Ooh. Execute them. Should have seen that coming. We ran out of money. Uh, hmm. Aren't they excommunicated? Okay, they must have been recommunicated. Uh, who are they allied with? Oh sure, it's a chance to pick a part of you in the alliance at least. It's just one unit of archers that rebelled in uh, Scania, so that shouldn't really be a problem. Not the most interesting turn. Uh, do I even want to grace these rebels with my presence? Nope. I'm already allied with the French, and I might really want to attack the Polish at some point, so no, I don't think I will make an alliance. I'm not going to give the Byzantines a claim to my throne. Yeah, I'll take a Norwegian uh, princess. Right, the garrison up here has been making me nervous for a while, so they're going to be the next group to go down. And Swabia is the last province that the Germans have that is of any value, except unless they still hold Austria. Um, these three units of feudal knights, we need spearmen to deal with them, so I picked up these three units here. We've got one unit of spearmen, well, our men-at-arms should be able to handle that handling. 
and uh, they obviously also want to be able to outflank their cavalry and chase down their archers. So of course they've got the prince leading the attack, and they've also got my full unit of Scottish cavalry. Let's remove one more thorn from my side. Just about got into position. Right. Let's open up a line of attack. Excellent, the third managed to go straight for them. Like go straight into their back. Their back, not their side. Those urban militia could become a problem, but I'm more concerned about the Royal Knights right now. So the Scottish Cavalry aren't finishing this as quickly as I thought they would. Yeah, okay, this is going to suck. Well, the General is basically dead right now. Let's pull out and... Uh, and go and help our Scottish Spearmen. Good, that's the armed militia running. I think what I'll do is have these landsmen actually bury the royal knights just in case they try and run. Uh, I suppose I'd better go and help my beleaguered Scottish spearmen. They're not doing very well in that route formation. Get in there and kill him already. The cavalry somehow managed to let the five remaining guys escape. Now this is going to be hopefully the end for the Germans in the north. Clear well windy with rain expected works for me because the enemy have many archers. Their archers are right there. Right, let's uh, make an early. S right, we need to be disciplined here. My goal is to catch the enemy cavalry. Since that's a force of archers, okay, I suspect what they're doing is they're going to try and draw us out. Let's see. Hmm. No, they just seem to be sending their archers to their deaths. The enemy cavalry are back there. That armory in Scotland is uh, doing its work. Right, while they're getting mowed down, let's start moving towards the battlefield. My goodness. That's what happens when a four Valor unit crashes into your back. Alright, I'm going to do some skeleting with my general's bodyguard. I want to know where the enemy spearmen are. Okay, they're responding to that. Fall back. Let's 
So if the enemy king wants a fight, then let him have it. Okay. He's not that foolhardy, but he is sending his prince forward. Okay, we'll just kill his son in front of him. Right, I know we're going uphill, but... Fair, going into the woods won't really help him against men at arms anyway. Okay, the enemy are tied down, just in case their spearmen can't get the job done on their own. Let's bring the cavalry in. But it certainly doesn't look like the fart are having any trouble. Seriously, where are the enemy spearmen? He's giving us the most trouble. Uh, probably this group, actually. Or maybe not. And the king's broken through. Right, just abandon your formation and get into a fight with the enemy king. Surround them. Well, we went all the way around here to flank their king, and he's broken through and is now on the other side of our formation. Well, that's just typical. Uh, you know what, I'm really just going to leave the spearmen to it. Right, I'm going to go look. The king lies dead. A noble man making a good end. Okay, well, let's go find these mythical spearmen then. Found them. They were in the next forest over. Oh, the archers are there. There are some archers there too. Archers stupidly exposing themselves. Well, they just lost their king, so they shouldn't last very long. That said, their spearmen are something I want nothing to do with. Keep your spears to yourself, thank you very much. And this is what I brought the men-at-arms for. They should tear these spearmen apart to pieces quite quickly. In the meantime, our cavalry can now go after the archers unmolested. Yeah, we're not going to be needing formation for this. It's pretty much going to be undisciplined, brutal, bloody slaughter. And they knew what was coming. <laughs> they probably heard me say the words undisciplined, brutal, bloody slaughter. So, in one turn, we just killed four German princes, including their king, and took two provinces. It's been a bad day for royalty. Another civil war has broken out in Germany. 
Okay, but the Germans do still have significant military power in the south. I think they could easily overwhelm my garrison here. I can send them some men-at-arms. I am leaving Ile de France very poorly defended. So I hate to say this, but we are going to have to confront the English. Because they are pointing a dagger directly at Flanders, which is my only link to the continent. So we're going to dispatch some spearmen down south. And to my amazement, Switzerland is actually empty. The Germans have nothing in that province right now. So, yoink. In Tyrol, they've got a stronger force. Let's see. Three units of cavalry and three units of infantry. So, and the cavalry are mounted crossbowmen. So, we're going to need our own Scottish cavalry to hunt them down. I'll also bring my king into this. Men at arms would be ideal. And I've got more highly capable melee troops coming in from Burgundy. We're riding high, but you know what they say about pride comes before a fall. Yep, okay. I was prepared to lose um, Burgundy, but meant securing the north. Don't really need to worry about that. Hmm. Okay, this is very similar to when the English invaded Scotland. They've got a lot of powerful units, including cavalry. We do have one ace up our sleeve. If we can use our archers to weaken their men-at-arms, this is going to be difficult. Now, if I kill both their king and their prince, I might end the German state here. It's all the more reason to go for this. I'm going to position my archers outside of the woods and further down the hill because they need to get pot shots off against their men at arms. Right, there's the enemy. Oh, mm. Okay, that's not where I would like them to do have deployed. Right, I need to make this call now. Uh, let's see. Move the archers to the summit here. And uh, if I pull right up the hill, we need, we're going to need to time this withdrawal because I think they're going to come up onto this bluff. So we need to pull back towards this summit here. But I have to do it at the right moment. Now if they do as a favour and come with a bow shot, I might just be able to annihilate a unit of their knights here and now. Because royal knights tend to wither under missile fire. Yeah, I see their archers, it's the men at arms I want to get rid of. Now I, I can beat their royal knights in melee or I can beat their men at arms, but I don't think I can beat both and the feudal sergeants. If they're going to try and charge across the field at us, I'm going to show them why that's not a good idea. What, you didn't think I'd depend on them uh, stopping them with missiles alone, did you? Give me some credit. Right, since they're insisting on scouting under fire, move around the hill and keep giving them problems.
do you want her to die so badly? Hmm, okay, that could actually be a problem. Into the trees. I'm not getting my general sniped. Okay, they're going to play a game of cat and mouse with us. Very stupid game since I have Archer Supremacy. Okay, they're going to play what I'm looking for is signs that their main force is approaching. Feudal sergeants weren't my main target, but if you're going to offer them up on a plate like this... Okay, they are actually coming after us on mass now. I think it's time to start pulling back to the upper levels. There's two units of mounts across and it's still lurking. Okay, I've, got, I've got a chance to shoot at their feudal men at arms here, I have to take it. I just saved my archer's lives. Um, right, never mind, this is not working. Pull back. Pull back up that hill. Are they turning around to attack us? Okay, no. At least all of this will tire them out a little bit. back up to the higher upper reaches of the forest. This is just flat ground. It can be really, really hard to tell what's flat ground and what's a uh, hell in this game for some reason. Um, Right, that's because the genuine high ground is up here. There's only a tiny amount of it in the actual forest. Right, well whatever happens, we do need to do our fighting in the actual forest. Leaving the forest is a death trap. be able to do much damage through the trees. I'm gonna have to open this up.
come up our back. Oh dear. And the archers did their job, they slowed the enemy down. It's really up to the mounted sergeants now what happens. Ah, they broke because of the flank threat. Bring up the spearmen, cover their retreat, we need them back. wasn't enough. I thought we'd do better against the enemy's men at arms than that. But in the end we were defeated. So the core premise of my plan was wrong. Right, just try and get off the field while you can. At least our general didn't rout so he doesn't get the good runner trait. He's defeated but not disgraced. And they've been driven away from the route path. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. Hopefully we'll get to get some of our troops back through ransom next turn. We just plain took over Switzerland. Right. Should be fine. Neither side has any archers, so weather doesn't really matter. My past self seems to have forgotten that mounted crossbowmen are in fact archers. Okay, if the enemy push their armoured, uh, their mounted um, crossbowmen out first, then that does us a favour because that means we can mop up those particular units quickly. Let's. Uh, Come out and face them. It's going to hurt. Okay, go, don't let them get off up more volleys. like to follow up but we're going to exhaust our infantry if I charge after them now. I create the enemy are coming here. Okay, we managed to make contact with them. This group's got a bit confused. Right, focus on delivering the coup de grace to this group here. Our inventory should be on their way now.
Okay, the enemy force is coming. If we can get to the top of this hill, first of all. First. to retreat to so they're obviously fighting hard. I need to pull a unit of cavalry out of this mess. Okay, the enemy pulled back before I could do anything about that. Right. How do I dislodge them from the side of a mountain? doing is getting yourself shot at. If I go up the hill, I'm going to throw my force away. Retreat. What a crying shame. Oh, well, the rich just. They executed all of my men. I didn't think they'd do that. Oh, no, wait, it looks like we auto ransom them? I'm not quite sure how this worked. Uh, Well, luckily, it looks like the failed Swabby expedition ended up back here. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, the Burgundians have just fallen back. Oh, could have killed their king and prince there. I might finish the Germans right there and then. Right. Attack the English fleet and attack the English king. This is a force that's been specifically designed for this purpose. There is no excuse for failure. I'm going to bring a reserve fleet down south just in case things go wrong. Right, time for round two with Tyrol. I'm going to send some archers to help get them off those mountains. And they'll send a small patrol of cavalry to get us around their back as well. Another German counterattack. This is nowhere near as one sided as it looks. Let's face it, we knew this day was going to come eventually. Did, did they just withdraw off a field? They do know I'm going to sink their navy, right? Okay, then. That's it. That's what you're sending to attack us. That's insulting. Okay, at least they've got the common sense to try and use their mobility to gain an advantage.
Thank you for conveniently standing on the worst ground possible and letting us attack. And now we've brought them to a halt, add the cavalry. Got to say, these Royal Knights are doing very well considering how badly outmatched they are. I'm throwing my prince into this is the last resort. Goodness, is he actually going to do? He's going to he's going to force me to pull the Scottish cavalry out and pull and send in my remaining men at arms. Right, fine. You want a fight so badly? I'll give you a fight. one of our cavalry running around, running away. Their last bodyguard still in that mess somewhere. But I think it's just the king. That, okay, our king and prince are dueling one another. Our, their king and our prince are dueling one another. This is actually pretty metal. They cut down almost an entire group of fuel men at arms and, al and almost half of a detachment of Scottish cavalry, high valor Scottish cavalry, by themselves. Say what you want about the man, the German Emperor was a badass. Okay, I think the reason they no longer have their mounted crossbowmen is they evacuated through Burgundy while it was occupied. Good. I'm coming off the hill. That was really easy. I was worried that they'd be stubborn.
<laughs> like her archers just casually dodging out of the way. Speaking of which. That was good timing. No, we, our army's got this. Cut down those routers. Hey, spearmen. Scottish cavalry. Cut down those spearmen. Archers finally got themselves organized. I don't think they can fall back much farther. Capture that general he defeated us last time. Your soldiers have captured the enemy general. <sighs> I'll leave him. We won the Battle of the English Channel. We didn't take the ransom anyway. And we're the most advanced faction, probably after taking three capitals. Okay, the Genoese don't want to be our friends either uh, anymore. Neither do the Aragonese, neither do the Spanish. Someone tried to bribe one of my generals. That's interesting. Yeah, unfortunately, we are still at war with the English. I think I'm going to advance my war fleet into the Bay of Biscay and try and finish their um, navy off once and for all. They've withdrawn from Provence. They didn't even hold it. And we've sunk the English Navy. Right, let's steal the coup de gras. There's one, two, three, four, five. Enemy infantry. Okay. 10 enemy infantry units and 5 units of cavalry plus some archers for 16 units total. 
And the hardest part for me is probably going to be putting together the infantry. So there's four, plus one is five. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's a half nine. Longbowmen can serve as ten in a pinch. And to be honest, that's a lot of cavalry we're facing as well. Send two brigades of archers, that helps to even the odds a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to bring soldiers south to help with the public order situation. I'd also like to extend my naval reach into the Baltic, so we're going to start training ships in Denmark. Oh, never mind. Uh, I've actually got plenty of ships, so why don't we send one of these into the Baltic Sea, and we'll keep one on hand, just in case in fact I'll return one of these ships to the North Sea. Send the ship onto the English Channel. And that will actually give me naval access to Ireland. So I can potentially go off and conquer Ireland, Ireland sometime in the future. I can even start to extend my influence towards the northern coast of Spain. Right, let's finish the German Empire off. Wait, what? No! No, I was this close to finishing them! Why did they dodge out the way? I was this close! I had them in the palm of my hand! Uh... Oh. When will this bleeding part of the campaign end? Okay, uh, well, if the Italians manage to make a successful counterattack, then, uh, oh, fine. I guess I'll offer them a ceasefire then. And of course, at that exact moment, the English uh, send out a ship, so I can't take it out of them either. Right, you know what? I may not have managed to defeat a faction this time, but I have taken over most of Western Europe. So I think we can call today there. I've been Napoleon Complex. Thank you for watching this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the content, and farewell.